Welcome to the Pluto Coffin Show. What is up, everyone? Pluto Coffins is here with another video. We're going to be covering Santa Claus again today. I covered him back when I was 16, but uh, or maybe I was 15, something like that. Covered him a few times since then, I think. But here we are with another Ed Wellington video, better known as Santa Claus. Atheism is blind faith. Uh, I haven't seen this video yet. I haven't uh, screened it or nothing like that. But... Um, just going off the title seems like a good one. Like, atheism is blind faith, considering that they believe in something that you cannot prove by definition because it's supernatural. You can't prove something that's supernatural by natural means, by definition. But we are the ones that have blind faith. They they don't have blind faith in this thing that's invisible that you can't see, hear, touch, feel. Um, you know, just because some book talked about it 2,000 years ago, written by some desert dwellers, you know, but we are the ones with blind faith, you know, the atheists are. Well, hello there. To begin hello, Santa Claus. To begin with, when an atheist dismisses God, whose non-existence he cannot prove, the atheist must do it by blind faith. You can't prove his non-existence, but you can't prove his existence either. You see? Like, whenever you're claiming something, like, if I was like, oh, there's a leprechaun outside my house, then the burden of proof is on me to prove that a leprechaun is outside my fucking house, right? So whenever you say there's a magic man living in the fucking sky, the burden of proof is on you, not us, it's on you. Faith. Atheism is blind faith. All nature... No, believing in a god that you can't see, hear, touch, feel, or... like. The, none of your senses can 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 detect this being that is blind faith believing that is real that is blind faith seen and unseen is super intelligently designed the atheist says prove it is designed scientifically and is what's designed i didn't miss what he said i was fucking talking too much shit blind faith atheism is blind faith all nature seen and unseen is super intelligently designed cancer is cancer intelligently designed um i don't know fucking measles is that intelligently designed cyanide is that intelligently designed um you know fucking uh stillborn babies are those intelligently designed um like uh black holes Fucking, I don't know, cosmic rays, skin cancer. I don't know, I could go on. The atheist says, prove it is designed scientifically and is demanding what is observable to be put into a test tube. The universe does not fit into a test tube. That's a bunch of nonsense. We cannot deliver the orderly orbits of the planets to the atheist and say to them, here, put it under your microscope. While countless cosmic bodies move in orderly orbits without any need for a pilot, refueling, or maintenancing. And I would like to see them design and launch anything comparable to what God threw into orbit at such high speeds man cannot comprehend it. I have no idea what he's fucking talking about. <laughs> he's fucking lost it, dude. We think man throws a baseball fast at 100 miles an hour. While Mercury is speed Well, God can fucking throw a planet at fucking one billion bajillion miles per hour. Or, you know, it's gravity. You know, the Mercury's going around the sun and gravity's the thing pulling it. It's not God. It's gravity. Um, you know, you, just, you can't replace anything you don't know about with God. Why does the sun come up? God. Why does it rain? God. Well, no. Precipitation and evaporation and shit and all that fucking garbage that's what causes the rain and why does the sun come up because the earth revolves around the sun but it's also spinning at the same time so i mean not every you don't whenever you start explaining away things with just god then we're never actually going to learn about it you know what i'm saying eating over a hundred thousand miles per hour super intelligent design does not have to be proved it is already proved every time the sun comes over the horizon. 
Every time the moon glows in the night while we sleep. Every time a rooster crows to let us know it's time to get up. Roosters. Roosters are proof of God. Don't roosters, like, rape chickens, right? Aren't they? I know cats rape other cats and fucking um, otters rape each other. Like, these, these are creatures of God. Okay. We have no burden of proof. The evidence is observable. The problem atheists have in dis- Your butthole's right next to your fucking penis. That's why, like, a lot of sexually transmitted diseases occur. Because they're so close to each other. It's very intelligently designed. Missing God is all existence was super intelligently designed so- It's intelligently designed. It's intelligently designed. It's intelligently designed. And he's... This guy. Atheist. He, like, he has nothing more to say. Have to believe by blind faith the universe and all the life forms in it created and de You have the blind faith, sir. Designed themselves. Most atheists say the Big Bang supposedly expands from singularity without building materials into what we now have as the universe. No. All of... <laughs> without building materials. No, it's all of matter was, like, comprised in such a tiny, fine point with so much energy and, like, and, like, I don't know, cosmic shit going on in such a fine, like, smaller than the size of an atom. And it, for some reason, it went and expanded out into the universe. Like, billions of years occurred before those elements started forming into anything, like, real. And then... Billions of more years occurred before they turned into suns, and then billions of more years occurred before they turned into galaxies, and then billions of more years occurred before life happened on Earth. You know, like, the universe is not fine catered for life. Like, if it was, life would be abundant everywhere we see. The, from what we know, it's only on Earth. We say, how can you build your universe without building materials? Oh, we're working on it. There was a star debris out there, you know, but where did your stars come from? He's talking nonsense. No, I, no, no scientists, whatever. Like what I said was a fucking retard's comprehension of what the Big Bang was. But like if you talk to a scientist, he'll say, I mean, probably not relatively the same thing, but it'll be basically the fucking same thing that I just said. It has nothing to do with, oh, there's a fucking star out there somewhere. Maybe we got to look for it. That's not what happened. Oh, we don't know. We're working on it. That is blind faith. They say we are honest in saying we don't know. They have a bad case of God. That is honest. Like, uh, uh, what, what caused the Big Bang to fucking erupt? We don't know yet. That's honest. Because we don't know. And we're not going to ascribe it to God because we don't know it. That's because you have blind faith. And we don't have blind faith. We have, we have scientific, scientific instruments and means to explain the ways of the universe without God. Out of the gaps. To all of the evidence we present, they say God didn't do it. That is... Because you don't fucking produce any fucking evidence, bro. You're just like, look at the fucking trees. So fucking what? Look at the fucking trees. They're there. That doesn't mean God put them there. Blind faith. You atheists don't know, therefore God didn't do it. That's as unscientific as you can get. You No, motherfucker. There, we don't know, so God didn't do it. It's because we don't know, so we aren't going to ascribe it to a supernatural fucking being. We aren't going to ascribe it to ghosts. We aren't going to ascribe it to leprechauns. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't know, therefore we don't know. You don't have a first cause in your model. But you say eternal, omnipotent God Almighty didn't do it. You use fossils to determine the age of rock layers. And rock layers... No, we don't. We use geometric carbon dating to... Okay. ...layers to determine the age of fossils. That is circular reasoning. You have no evidence for evolution. You're a There's a shit ton of evidence for evolution. Go... <laughs> I like how whenever they're like, there's no fucking missing link. If there was a missing link, it'd be abundant. Go, like, go look up. First off, there is no missing link because that's a fucking bullshit term. But go look up like 
transformational forms in fossil records and there's hundreds or if not thousands upon thousands upon thousands of fucking examples on wikipedia alone just look it up that's all you have to do is use fucking google this guy's a fucking idiot he doesn't know what he's talking about and if you watch his videos i feel sorry for you scientific scientists go in with the intent to prove evolution true and you want the public to believe it was a scientific project there are no creationists on peer review voicing dissent because it's not allowed. That's not true. I'm pretty sure there's a few, maybe like two, <laughs> Christian scientists. But, um, yeah, whenever you're publishing bullshit, they're not going to fucking, whenever it's peer reviewed, they're going to reject it. That's how it works. Don't publish bullshit. You call that objective scientific peer review? Yeah, whenever you're publishing bullshit, like what you just said about like, oh, there's a star or something. No one's ever said that. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Creationist scientists are not invited along to observe science projects with the freedom to voice dissent. So the media... No, you have the freedom to voice dissent. You can bring up flaws in whatever the fuck theory or hypothesis you want, but fucking you don't because you're a lame brain. Here, fabricated evolution claims and sensationalize them to sell their publications. This is a national tragedy. You atheists have no evidence for evolution. You have to believe it by blind faith. There's a shit ton of evidence for evolution. And now, like, modern Christians are like, well, like modern creationists, I should say. Because most Christians aren't creationists. This guy's a fucking creationist. A creationist is someone who believes... That the earth is 6,000 fucking years old. Anyways, or like 12,000. They believe in like 12,000 to 6,000 years old. Anyways. A lot of them are like, well, there's microevolution. Because like, we can study it. You could, like, there's fruit fly experiments and all this shit. Like, you can see them fucking changing. It's like they're... <laughs> Anyways. Um, they've accepted, like, microevolution. Oh, they can adapt and change a little bit. But they have to work with the DNA that's there. But fucking... The only difference between microevolution and macroevolution, like one species transforming into another species, is just time. If it can do it on a smaller time scale, then that built up over millions upon millions of years. Don't you think that would do something? Like, uh, I digress. Atheists say evolution does not displace creation. I say evolution is a continuing attempt to steal the honor of superintelligent design from God. No. I think God has nothing to do with any of this because God isn't real. Abiogenesis is a continuing attempt to steal the honor of creation from God, saying intelligent life formed themselves out of the muck. That's what you believe. You think intelligent life formed out of the muck because God like grabbed the dirt right and then made Adam and took Adam's rib and then made Eve from his rib for some reason but yeah that's what you believe you may want to be from, from a magic man that lives in the sky the descendant of a worm but we prefer to be made in the image of god yes you look just like god that's that's what i imagine god looks like like realistically that is what i imagine I imagine he's got like a big throne and a big flowing white beard maybe like long hair with like a crown and shit and he like sits around judging everyone all the time we believe in God because the, the evidence is observable and our model is logical. Illogical. You believe in man-made myths by blind faith. You believe in man-made myths, bro. You believe in, like, fucking uh, Iron Age or, like, Bronze Age mythology, dude. <laughs> like, what? Faith. The Big Bang, abiogenesis, and evolution will never be proved. Point evolution is a theory, which... Um, Contrary to popular belief, a theory in science means that it's as close to a fucking fact as you can get. So, basically, evolution is proven, and the Big Bang Theory is also a theory, so it's as close to a fact that you can get in science, so it's basically a fucking fact, it's proven. You see what I'm saying? It's your faith toward belief in God. That's why God gave you faith. No, we don't have faith, we have science. You have faith. And uh, you can continue on your merry life with that, uh, Santa Claus. Uh, as to everyone watching, I hope you enjoyed this criticism video. Please like and comment and subscribe and criticize me as well. Or tell me your religious beliefs and tell me I'm wrong. Or 
what the fuck ever. I'll reply to all the comments I can. Uh, this has been Pluto Coffins. I'll see you guys in the next one.